in plain sight. Point branded underscore header left curly bracket background image Earl HTTP slash slash C D N point lib point newsvine point com slash chrome slash in plain sight slash images slash header point JPG equals ten thousand four hundred and sixty two right curly bracket MSN Outlook More Autos My MSN Video Careers and Jobs Personals Weather Bellish Quotes White Pages Games Real Estate Wonderall Horoscopes Shopping Yellow Pages Local Edition Traffic Feedback Maps and Directions Travel Full MSN Index Bing Mcnews.com Today Nightly News Meet the Press Dateline MSNBC Breaking News Newsvine Home US World Politics Business Sports Entertainment Health Tech Science Travel Local Weather Nursery School Dropouts Quote Poverty as a health crisis for many of America's kids. Friday, September 6, 2013, 7.15 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. John Makeley, NBC News. Dr. Bernard Greer, Professor of Pediatrics at New York University and Co-Chair of the Academic Pediatric Association Task Force in Childhood Poverty, has been taking care of children, many of them quite poor, for nearly four decades. By Barbara Rupp, Senior Producer, NBC News. America's pediatricians are sounding an alarm about what they call the most important problem facing children in the U.S. today, childhood poverty, which they say is a serious threat to children's physical and mental health, and a barrier to their development, achievement, and future. Dr. Bernard Greer Professor of Pediatrics at New York University and co-chair of the Academic Pediatric Association Task Force in Childhood Poverty, has been taking care of children, many of them quite poor, for nearly four decades. He spoke recently to NBC News about how and why childhood and family poverty can contribute to everything from obesity to poor performance in school and can have a lasting effect on a child's chances later in life. NBC News, you call child poverty the most important problem facing children in the U.S. today. Greer, for some bizarre reason, children are the poorest group in our society, as opposed to being protected from poverty. 22% of children live below the federal poverty level but 43% are below 200% of federal poverty level. Almost half our children are in danger. Many of the problems that we, as pediatricians, care about and want to work on to help children are based in the fact that they be poor. We know, if they don't have a good early childhood, it is difficult to catch up. I've spent my life taking care of children in poor families. My families are all poor, many are loving families, they be not bad parents but they often don't have the resources to really protect their children or advance their children's development. Continue reading this entry. Permalink 73 comments. Filed under Parenting, Pediatricians, Childhood Poverty, Low-Income Families. It's okay to be an older worker as long as you don't lose your job. Thursday, September 5th, 2013, 4.18 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. By Allison Lynn, CNBC Digital. It has the best and worst of times for older workers. The unemployment rate for Americans 55 and older is lower than for any other age group the government tracks, and far below the national average. But if an older worker loses a job, the length of time that person will stay unemployed is typically much longer than for any other age group. There is a much higher prevalence of unemployment among young people, but the time that you spend in that state is much shorter, said Linda Barrington, executive director of the Institute for Compensation Studies at Cornell University. Continue reading this entry. Permalink 449 comments. Filed under Labor, Unemployment.